We'll now turn our attention back onto this week's golf, which is the Quicken Loans Tournament. Quicken Loans National. Um, it's, it's not the, the top, top field. There's a, there's a lot of good players in the field, but there's notable omissions. Um, the head of the market, Ricky Fowler, will going off around eight to eight to one at the moment. Justin Thomas, available around fourteen to one. Pat Reed, available around sixteen to one. Um, as usual, you know my policy. It's very rare that you'll see me back a favourite in a golf tournament. Ricky Fowler does look like a worthy favourite. He's been in tremendous form. He's been playing really well. Uh, but Charman is clearly doing good work with him. Did well at the US Open for a long time. Um, you, I could easily see him winning the tournament, but at 8-1, to one, not a, the sort of price I look for. I look for a bit more value. I look for bigger numbers. So if Fowler wins this week, good luck. I won't be on it. Justin Thomas, 14-1. to one. It's a fair figure. Very good form, generally. I think he missed the cut recently. I don't know if it was last week or the week before. But you can't um, lose focus on someone like Thomas. If you, if you like Thomas, it's not a bad figure. Again, for me, just slightly too low. But, but for him, um, how he plays and how he's been this year, very impressive. Um, if you like him, 14 to 1 is fair enough. Pat Reed, someone we support on this channel, at 16 to 1. It's a fair number, bearing in mind the form that he's in. He's heating up. He's playing very well. And my opinion is he's going to win a tournament at some stage this year. Um, having said that, what I'm going to say next is strange. I'm not going to be back in Patrick Reed this week. Uh, 16 to 1 uh, for the field and bearing everything in mind is probably a fair number. But I'm not going to go for him this week. I like to be getting in excess of 20 to 1 on Reed, And usually you can get it. You can usually get 28s. 30 to 1, stuff like that. I know the field isn't as good, so they've obviously reduced it. And they've obviously looked at his form in recent weeks. Uh, it's a fair number, but I won't be taking it this week. Um, the highest I'll be taking in the market, well, I'll be taking the next two in the market, uh, fourth and fifth in the market, will be Mark Leishman, 25 to 1. We back him every week. He hasn't won for us yet, but he will do because he's just consistent and he keeps it in play. Um, just he's got just got one of those swings that you, could, you, you can't see him missing the fairway that often. His iron play is good. We're going to go with Leishman. 25 to 1. We're also going to go with Bill Haas. He's at 25 to 1. He's someone we've been a bit slow on back in on this channel. He's in the similar sort of mould as Leishman, so I don't know why we haven't come to him uh, earlier. Keeps it in play, tidy, pure, loads of experience. He's underrated. If you look at his record, there's top 25s all over the place. And we like consistency on this channel. We like reliability, so we'll be adding Bill Haas this week. Um, I think the tournament is at TPC Potomac. Um... It used to be held at Congressional, I think, which is a US Open track. They sometimes use it for the US Open. Um, I think Colin Montgomery went closer, a US Open at Congressional once, and uh, came up short, <laughs> came second uh, at Congressional. But now it's TPC Potomac, it's a par 70. Um, with this course, there are some meaty par 3s and meaty par 4s. So by that, we're referring to par 4s, well in excess of 450 yards, and par 3s, you know, good solid par three, sort of over 200 yards going up to 250. So it's going to be important. You need players that can potentially do well on those sort of holes. You need players that are going to do well in terms of greens and regulation stats. And um, I think Haas and Leishman um, will do will, will do that. They'll, they'll, they'll be there or thereabouts, in my opinion. Uh, 25 to 1 on each. Reasonable. So I'm going to take them each way. Um, my next selection... Oh, it's someone we've supported on this channel. We're going to go for Byung Hun and again. He's just a birdie machine. He's been playing okay. He just needs, you know, a, a week will come along where he strings together four solid rounds. He's sometimes a little bit streaky, but I, I can't look past him. Where we're getting figures of 60 to 1 for Anne. I think he's such a talented player that I can't look past him. 60 to 1 each way, we'll go for Anne. Um, we're going to go also for JB Holmes. Uh, he's a big hitter, very experienced. I think, you know, if you heard my description of the long par threes and par fours, he's someone that if he's hitting it well, sometimes he's a bit erratic, which you can get with a big hitter. But um, if he's hitting it well, I think he can score well. I think he can find the greens. I think he, his power game is going to have him hitting short irons in of his second shots, whereas other players will be moving more towards mid irons. I think that will give him an edge on this course. So let's just hope he fires this week and at 40 to 1. I'm prepared to, you know, give him a chance. We're going to go with JB Holmes. We're going to go also with David Lingamuff, who's someone who um, 
think I think he has history on this course. I think he won. I believe he won something on this course when he was on the. Uh, um, is it the Weber.com tour a few years ago? But you know that aside, he's just been in very consistent form. He's someone who. You always see his name up. I've been seeing his name up there first two rounds, even three rounds, then he kind of falls away. Even Patrick Reed is a little bit like that this year. But when someone's there or thereabouts, there's always a week. There's likely to be a week where they string four solid rounds together. So I'm not going to put look past David Lingmuth. I'm going to stay with him. And at 33 to 1, it's a reasonable figure. We're going to go for C. Woo Kim as well, the winner of the Players' Championship. I think he was 13th at the US Open. So someone who's informed, someone who's talented. Beautiful swing. Young player, not too much baggage mentally. Not been around that long. Um, I'm going to bring Si Wu Kim into into our reckoning at 40 to 1. I'm going to stay with Kevin Tway. I'm going to stay with Tway because I just look at his record and it just I just can't look <laughs> I just can't look past it. It's so consistent. Um, I'm not saying he's you know in the running to win every tournament, but he certainly makes the cuts and you know he's just all, all his all his results are just. Um, Consistent. I mean, his, his last two, he's tied 31st in the St. Jude. He's tied 43 in the Travellers' Championship. So you might say, oh, well, you know, he's made the cut and he's done all right, top 40s. But uh, he's not really challenging to win. Well, let's go back a bit further. Dean DeLuca tied 18th. Byron Nelson tied 20. The Wells Fargo tied 5th. Zurich Classic, 3rd. Texas Open tied 3rd. We're going a bit uh, back now. We're back to April. But... You know that form line. He's making all the. He's making so many cuts, and he's always in the sort of top. Well, he, he's most most of the time he's in the top thirty. So I, I'm, I'm just going to stay with this guy. I'm going to stay, with, and also with his father being such a legend, Bob Tway. I'm going to stick with him. I've been sticking with him on this channel, and at eighty-five to one, I think uh, I think it'd be wise of me to do so. And uh, last value play, I'm going to go for Kevin Nye. He's coming at ninety to one. Been around a while, his experience, he's got a good swing. I, I just think he's a guy who has talent and he's playing well enough that he could just heat up this week and uh, in a field which isn't the strongest, you know, you never know. I think he's got a lot of potential. I think he's got a chance, so I'm going to be going with him. All these selections are each way, seven places. Uh, if you have any ideas, please put them in the comments, let us know. Like and subscribe as usual. Um, so just to go through, we're going to have Leishman, 25 to 1. We're going to have uh, JB Holmes forty to one, Byung Hun An sixty to one, Bill Haas twenty five to one, David Lingabeth thirty three to one, Si Woo Kim forty to one, uh, Kevin Tway eighty five to one, and Kevin Na ninety to one. A complete our selections each way seven places. Good luck with your selections and see you next time.